Hey everyone, Cyberpunk has just become the first game to launch with DLSS 4. The update just came out not too long ago. We've updated it and we're going to check out the files, uh, see what's different and run some tests and uh, see if we can't patch some other games as well. So let's get right into this. The first thing we're going to do is look at the files themselves. DLSS files. Okay, where are they at here? Here we go. All right, so the naming scheme has not changed on the files. We still have DLSS G for frame generation, though now it says multi-frame generation. And DLSS D is the ray reconstruction. And then the regular base DLSS. The file number is 310. So not DLSS 4, but 310 which three and one does equal four. We do verify we have the new DLSS files and let's just run this. Real quick though, I wanna check a DLSS swapper. Yep, Cyberpunk is at 310 DLSS, okay. Other games you could see, like uh, Indiana Jones 3.7, The Last of Us 3.1, Delta Force 3.1. Okay, let's run this. Okay, we are in. All right, DLSS Super Resolution Transformer model is the new model. We are going to test out the old one here. Turn the sound off for you guys. Bye. Okay, so conventional neural network. We are gonna test that first. DLSS quality, ray tracing off, and everything else at high. And we'll see what we get with the conventional neural network. Let's run that. All right, so conventional, our average is 121, minimum frames 104. So not too bad here. Let's go with the new transformer model. Same settings as before, just changing that DLSS super resolution preset. We actually had a drop in frames. So the transformer model, utilizing maybe a little more horsepower on the card, but it definitely, we definitely saw a drop in frames. Let's see if Indiana Jones in the Great Circle will run with the new DLSS. Okay, first we want to find where this game is. NV. Star. There we go. Streamline is where they're at. Okay. Indiana Jones is running 3.7. Let's see if we can replace that. Let's back this up first. Back cuck. All right, now let's throw the new DLSS 4 in here. And run Indiana Jones. See if it actually works. All right, let's look at the settings here. Options, video. DLSS super resolution, it's in there. Quality. Is this going to work?
The resolution is kind of wonky. This is a very odd resolution. Oh, 16 native. Except, let's give this a shot here. Oh, it's actually working. I don't have the sound on for you guys, but this is working. It's 32, 33 frames a second. We could tame this down here. Everything's on ultra. Let's, uh, let's put everything on high. A little better. This does indeed seem to be using the LSS4 with ray tracing. Oh, did you see that in the background? The frames have settled down. We're getting 76 frames a second now. Wow. So we can actually use DLSS4 in other games. Let's see if there's another game we can try this on. Let's try this on The Last of Us. All right. I'm going to look at the frames that we get with DLSS 3.7 or 3.1, whatever it was at. Okay. So we're getting 83.79. Seventy five second seventy five seconds. Seventy five frames per second. Just holding on this guy here, so seventy two, seventy five. Eighty-two getting eaten. <laughs> it's using three point one, so we'll back that up. Okay, we're going to throw in DLSS four. And we're going to run it again. All right. Back to this guy again. All right, we've dropped 10 frames a second. I'm not sure if the um, presets had anything to do with that, though. But DLSS4 is clearly working in The Last of Us. And left shift to get off me. Wow. So it's two games now. We've tried DLSS 4 in that aren't currently shipping with it. Not bad at all. So we'll dive more into the DLSS 4 as more games come out that support it. And uh, Tech Power Up supplies the files. We can play around with those in other games. But so far, DLSS 4 is working, uh, just snapping it into other games that support DLSS. 
So experiment away. Thanks so much for watching my quick video on this. I love you people.